what is up you guys it's your boy DJ Lil back at it again with another tutorial and today I'm gonna talk about group channels in Cubase how to create them how to root them how to use them exactly and let's dive into it here I got a session of uh, I think this is for Jedi Tafari uh, featuring Ghost Dalifa uh, let me play something here Right, not that the song is of any importance, but what we're after is the groups. So this song, what we're using it for is, it has the first verse, which was done by Jedi, and then the chorus was also done by Jedi, and then we have a verse 2 that was done by Ghost Dalifa. So groups, that's where they come in. How do you want to use them? I want to separate all these sections into different channels. So when I control them and blend them with each other, it's easy for me to do that. I don't have to adjust all the channels all the time. I can adjust one knob for the first verse only, and then I can adjust the other knob for the hook, and then adjust another knob for the, the, for the second verse, and I can adjust one knob for the whole mix blend it in with the beat and all so it's really unlimited you can make as much groups as you like it's really unlimited just think freely when creating music so you can go as much as you can go as long as you got what you want to do so here uh i'm gonna start with uh i've got i've got these vocals going to one uh uh group channel which I'm gonna use now as my main bus after I create those sub uh, groups, which this I already created, but let me create some uh, more groups for presentation. Yeah. I've been anticipating. I've been waiting. So it's very easy to create them. You just right click here and say add group channel. So you add there, you say stereo. Cause you don't wanna, you don't want a mono channel. Trust me. Uh, you add one. Well, I think you add one at a time. Not really. Let me check. Uh, yeah, you can say here. You can add as many as you want. I'll add three more. Yeah. So I would say this. Uh, I can say either you put a name of that artist, or you can put like first verse. I'll say, yeah, first. I'll say first verse. Yeah, first verse, right. And then here I would say, I would say chorus or hook or whatever you can put. And I'll say second, and then I'll say second verse. That's it. Now, the tricky part is how you root them now. How you connect them with each other so they can work properly how you want them to work so uh here it's very easy there's two ways you can do that you either go to the channel the actual audio and then you just click here on top here and you go here because what you find here is stereo out you go with this stereo out and then you just root it to the group that you want we say first verse right but that one, uh, that one was the intro. But anyway, let's go to the first verse. First verse. Uh, another way you can do it is you just flip this to the mixer, and then it's easy for you to see everything here. You got your vocals down here, and uh, I think you will have them named for easy identification when you come to here. <laughs> Or you can just color them. Yeah, you can make the first verse orange. You can make uh, the second verse um, green or blue or whatever. And then when you come here, it's easy. You know, all the orange belongs to first verse. Then you just go up there and say first verse. And uh, after that, you can go ahead and root the chorus as well. And then you put it to chorus. 
and chorus chorus you know and so forth then you go to verse 2 you say verse 2 you say second verse you say second verse second verse second verse so now what you have here you have uh, a fader for the whole of the first verse and then you have a fader for the chorus and then you have a fader for the second verse right now I'll still root all this to one bus channel. So just in case I want to control all of them at once, then I create a bus, a new bus, which is this one. Then when I drop this, I drop all the vocals. So in practice, this is what's happening. So I got the first verse. Right. I've been anticipating. Right. I've been waiting. So this. Oh yeah. This we 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 we. Right. So that's how they basically work. Uh, I think I wrote it a wrong, different one here. Do I think it was supposed to be here? Right. Let's see again. Shine, you know. But we can't wait, you know. Your kissing is sweeter than watermelon. I've been anticipating. Right. So when I drop the first. I've been waiting. Right. So when I drop the fader for the first verse, the whole first verse goes down. So it's easier that way than going to say, ah, the first verse is louder. Then you have multiple channels for the first verse. Then you have to drop each and every channel for it to match. No, man. That's going to take more time and more concentration than pushing one knob at a time. So I drop this. Everything goes nicely. And for the hook, I also do the same. For the second verse, I also do the same. Then I bring all these together with the beat, all of them at once. So I don't have to also change volume for each group channel so that's it about groups that's how they used and that's how they created that's how they rooted and you can even go further and say add effects on the group channels instead on the actual channel that will even save you cpu power and uh it'll save you time as well because once you apply say first verse then you put your effects for the first verse on the face on the on the group channel of that first verse instead of putting on every channel on that in that verse you can see you save cpu power and then you save time as well so yeah Close your, the way you squeeze me the way you squeeze me all right guys that was all about groups today and i hope you enjoy this and it helps you in your everyday music production and until next time stay blessed <laughs>